good morning. It's Liam's birthday today. I've just got ready. We're going to go to a place called Hooked Golf, H-U-K-D, I think it is. It's like, I think they've got a mini golf as well, like a crazy golf. I think it's, I've never been before. I've never even seen it. I think Liam's seen it on TikTok or on YouTube or something because he's obsessed with golf. Um, I think they do like a crazy golf. You know, like where you can get cocktails and stuff like, um, is it like junkyard golf or something like that? Um, but they've also got these big golf stimulator things, which is what we're going to do. So I think you just hit the ball into like a big net and it shows you how far it would go. I've got no idea. I'll bring you with us and show, show you. Um, but it's got like, the food looks nice as well. So I think we're going to get some dinner as well. He's just going into football at the minute. Uh, and when he gets back, we're going to set off. But shall I show you my outfit? But yeah, I was saying the food. Oh my God. Now that I'm gluten free, I feel like I can't really have my favourite pick of the menu. And I checked out the menu when I booked it last night. They do tacos, gluten free. They were like literally like one meal that were gluten free and it's tacos, my favourite meal. So best believe I'm praying they've got them and they're not sold out. <laughs> um, but I'm going to have a little few swings. When I first went, couldn't hit the ball. Like, I am sporty, I'll, I'll give you that. I played every sport in school. Golf is different. I feel like it's really difficult. Like, when I'm playing rounders and that, I can hit it every time. Golf, it's just a weird, like, it's not a normal position to have your arms in. But um, couldn't hit it. And now, like, every night when Liam's got, like, YouTube on telly or something, and he's watching, like, a golf video, I'm, like, sat there, not listening, but I must be taking into account what they're saying. Every time we've been to a driving range recently, I'm whacking it, me. We did, um... Do you know where it's on the screen and it shows you how far... We were, like, doing a competition to see if we can get it closest to this flag or something. I weren't far off Liam. So gonna have a go today at the stimulator see how far i can hit it but let me show you my outfit quickly i've just got on my jaded leopard print cardigan just a little white vest underneath which is see-through i mean i've got a bra on uh, but you'll not see anyway because this is not coming off and then my zara trousers from my last haul and then i think i need a bag i might just bring my white towel for and then i'm just gonna put my white sandals on i think this is the menu as well. I'm wanting these. I'm so hungry. And probably some fries as well, but look at this. It's actually a really good menu. There's burgers, pizzas, sharers, load of fries. And they've got like breakfast and lunch things as well. The food is here. My tacos, I've got some sweet potato fries and a big burger with cheese and chorizo loaded fries. <laughs> I'm living my best life just watching Liam eating food. Hello, I'm back. This, the first part of this video were filmed when it was Liam's birthday and we went to play golf and then we booked a very last minute holiday to Lanzarote. We had a really nice time uh, and then we got back, went home for the weekend because Liam didn't have a game that weekend so we went and spent time with like our family and friends and then I'm now back home finally. I've got a huge Primark haul which I'm going to film right now which I'm very excited so I'll show you a sneak peek there's like some gorgeous summer bits me and mum went shopping into the Meda Hall Primark this is what I'm most excited about I think look at this denim waistcoat I've got a vision in my head I've got a little like frilly white mini skirt which I think would look really nice but there's some gorgeous prints I've got some dresses um like a really nice beige knit dress for a bikini this gorgeous textured green one I'm going to film that now. That will be up by the time you're watching this. So go and watch that if you've not already. Because I feel like this is going to be a good haul. I'm really excited. Uh, and then I need to go and do a food shop later on. We literally had the best holiday. It was such a cute last minute break. Which we never get to do because of football. So we were international break. So we got away. I think it was four days we went for. Which was just the right amount of time. Uh, and it's made me excited for my proper holidays in summer. So I can't wait for them. So yeah. Let's get this filmed. Hopefully there's some nice pieces in here. Um, and then we're gonna get some food. Just got changed. I'm just gonna go to Tesco and do my little food shop. This outfit I was sent from Missy Empire for TikTok. Um, so I'll link it on my TikTok, but it is honestly stunning. Fits so nicely, like it's so comfortable. I weren't sure what size to get, so I sized up to a 12. But I feel like a 10 would be fine, even an 8 probably would be fine. Uh, and it's just got like a fold over bit there. It's quite long. I'm five foot seven, so I've just put my like chunky Uggs on, just so I'm a little bit taller. Um, and I'm gonna put a little jacket on. And we're gonna go. <laughs> oh, also, let me just show you this that I got. 
So when me and one of the girls from Morecambe went shopping like ages ago, she said that this like stall, it's called Candles and Oud. They've got one in Trafford Centre, which is the one that we went to. And then I got these, they've made one in Meadowall in Sheffield. Um, and she gave me a tester for one, the Night in Paris scent, which I think is like one of their best sellers anyway. Um, and I just put the tester in my car and left it when she gave it me because I drove. Every time I got in the car, the car smelled unbelievable. So me and mum, when we went shopping at the weekend, went to my wall and I saw that they had a stall. So I said, oh, mum, come and smell this. So I was going to buy um, the reed diffuser of it, which I actually have got and I've put it downstairs. Oh my God, it makes the house smell incredible. That's night in Paris as well. And then this... Um, the big bottle of perfume was £70, or he said, I can get these mini ones. Look how nice they cut. They make a really nice present. Um, they do these like mini ones. What they? They've got a name, I can't remember what it's called. It's basically like a reusable thing and you can just go and fill it up there. Just take the sticker off. So that's what it looks like. I think you literally get like five million or something. It's not much. It's got the little engraved thing on the top. Um, i take it out of here. Yeah, look. You get that much, but I've not got any miniature perfumes. Oh my God, it smells unbelievable. So this is perfect. Like I can put it in my little bag for every day. I can put one in the car. They are normally £12 each. Um, so I was gonna get me and mum one, but then he said there's an offer on for Easter, three for 30. I thought I might as well get another one. So I've got mum one, she's got Amber Intense Oud, I think hers is called. And then I got two of the Night in Paris ones. It's like, it smells like you're expensive. Sorry, I'm bent down. I've not got a tripod, I'll just put you on this big thing. Um, it smells like expensive, but a little bit fruity. But then I think it's like got a bit of oud and muskin as well. Like it's girl. I feel like it's girly, but in a sexy way. It's not like pretty girly. It's like yeah, she's expensive. Go and smell it if you've got one nearby. You can order it online as well. But this honestly, it's one of the nicest smelling perfumes ever. Right, let's go and get a healthy food shop. But I do. Have you seen the chocolate covered strawberries in the freezer section that they do at Tesco? I think I might go to the big Tesco because then I can look at the clothes as well. Hello, I'm back from the food shop and. This lighting is horrific. Um, I love seeing what people buy when they're in the food shop on TikTok and stuff, so I thought I'd show you what I got. If this is boring to you, then just skip, but I feel like it's quite, I just love to be nosy. I got the chocolate covered fruit that I were after. They didn't have the strawberry, but they had raspberries. It's covered in dark chocolate and white chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate, so hopefully the white like balances it out and makes it into milk. Uh, and they also had, Frozen pineapple covered in coconut and maybe white chocolate. I want to try one now actually because they're probably belted anyway. Um, you get a decent amount in. They were like five pound, but I suppose buying that many raspberries, you're probably going to spend like three pound anyway, aren't you? That's what they look like. Get a bit of white chocolate, a bit of dark, and the raspberry. Let me try it again. The raspberry's so sour. Yeah, I like them. I, when I first took a mouthful, I got a bit of dark chocolate, but it doesn't like have the horrible bitter aftertaste that dark chocolate has because of the white. Mm. They are good, to be fair my food shop it's me Liam and our dog Ace um and it's so awkward because Liam obviously eats a lot so when you're buying like a normal two-person packet it's not enough for us like if you buy some sea rice you get two fillets in he would have two fillets so I have to buy another pack so and also he has like three meals at home as well so that's why there's quite a bit of food just for the two of us because obviously he plays football so it needs to be well fueled so let's just, so we've got these to start with. I would actually recommend them. They are gorgeous. So they'll be a nice like sweet treat. One eighth of the pack is 80 calories. Not that I would measure that, but I could sit and eat all of them to be honest. I got this for Liam just for like his supper tonight. Um, katsu chicken curry. It's like the fresh one from Yosushi. 
I thought that'd be a good because I always have to cook in something like later on at night time like after tea he has another meal so sometimes when I can buy like healthier like fresh stuff that I don't have to do it's a lot better I do sometimes meal prep as well I got some meringue because I've got some yogurt and fruit to have these we are obsessed with innocence movies I always just get whatever flavour is on offer because we like them all but love these we always have one of them got some raspberries liam some pineapple i don't like pineapple because i feel like i'm allergic it makes my tongue glad i can't explain it burns like top of my mouth i've got another one i'll show you when i find it these are for like if you followed my other vlogs you and i had loads of b12 injections i've actually got my blood test on thursday which i'm so scared about i hate needles um so i got this i've had this one before this is a turmeric one it's got b12 in i think it's got ginger in it's just loads of goodness you just have a shot every day avocados I got Liam's milk. I get this one, the Craving Dale one, just because it lasts longer because it's only him that drinks that one because I have the lacto-free one. I do have milk and cream and stuff in other things, but if I'm in cereal, I always use that because I prefer red milk anyway. I'm going to make a stew one night because I've got some kale to put in that. This is my favourite pasta sauce when I'm doing spaghetti bolognese. We had it when we were um, at home. It just reminds me of being at home. Um, some celery, some limes, loads of salad bits, rocket, iceberg lettuce. I'm gonna have salads every day for my dinner. I love these. If I've got an early gym class, these are gluten free as well. I always have one of them for like my breakfast before I go. Got some gluten free pasta, some spring onion. I'm gonna make a paella tonight or tomorrow. So I've got Liam just some part baked bread to have as well, just so we can have the extra carbs because obviously it burns a lot of calories. Uh, I've got some mini potatoes. I think I'm gonna put them in the stew. I've got this big pack of meat to put in the stew. Got this for the spaghetti bolognese. I got a big one again. Ace will have some of that when I cook it. And then I'll add everything else in after I've taken Ace's out, obviously. I got two packs of these. I've not had these before. Peri Peri chicken sizzlers. I just thought, like a normal couple living in two could probably just buy one. But how many do you get? You get like three. So he's not going to just have two of them because they'd probably be starving. So I've got two packs of them. Whatever's left, they'll have for supper or I'll have for my dinner the next day. Nothing ever gets wasted. Um, I got three packs of Jumbo King Prawns. These are the raw ones. I prefer them just because I feel like they cook nicer. And these were three for £10, I think. I would normally just get two, but I thought I can put one in the freezer because I don't need three. I got two packs of turkey slices so I can have them on my salads. I like turkey because it's low in fat, high in protein. Got some more dog treats for Ace. Tell I was hungry and I was doing this food shop. I got two packs of Little Moons. <laughs> Uh, they were a half price to be fair so i just thought again they'd be a nice like low calorie after tea because i'm one of the people that always has to have something sweet after they have the tea so i got a honey roasted pistachio they're just 80 calories per one they're just ice cream little ball things and then i got liam i don't know if he'll eat it iced latte coffee because he likes coffee and i don't so they were like one pound something each i think so just thought i'll get them oh i also got these ice olives as well because they're 50 calories 58 calories so again, that could be good for after my tea. Corn on the cob, best vegetable ever. We eat corn because it's the best thing in the world. I can just sit and eat a spoon, of a spoon and eat sweet corn out of the tin. But Liam thinks I'm gross, but I love it. Right, for Liam to have when we do spaghetti bolognese, we normally have like a pasta and he'll have garlic bread as well before a game, just so we can get all the carbs in the night before. So these steaks, you get four in each. These are what Ace has for his breakfast or dinner or whatever. Um, just because I like him to have a lot of meat and then whatever meat we have for tea normally has some obviously unseasoned as well I just stick these in the air fryer and he loves them some tin tomatoes for my paella I got some oranges and some lemons I got the lemon to put on the paella oranges because I like at night time to chop these up and just <laughs> suck all the juice out of them this is the other one I got because I'm trying to get everything good for my gut because obviously if you've followed along before get some stomach issues <laughs> Um, I also got this as well, kefir natural fermented yogurt. Now this actually makes me feel a bit sick thinking about it. It's got live cultures in it. Obviously I know they're not like moving around, but I'll just pretend it's Greek yogurt. I don't know what it's going to taste like. Never had it before, but I thought when we have our fruit and yogurt, I normally have that for breakfast, maybe a bit of gluten-free granola while my battery's going to die. Some chewing gums. Everything else is pretty much just veg and Ace's treats if it dies. Um, got some more fruit. These are Ace's favourite treats. Okay, I've got some cherries. And just loads of veg and some chewing gum. So yeah. Right, I'm going to go put my camera on charge and put all this away, which is the worst part of doing a food shop. Good morning. I've just got ready. I'm going to go to the Trafford Centre. 
for my little outfit. I am actually obsessed with my new trainers. I love them so much. Um, I've literally just got this Gymshark. I'm speaking with a list, so I've got chewing gum and I'm trying not to chew in your ear. Um, this little Gymshark set, the Gymshark leggings and the zip up top. I do find though with these Gymshark leggings, once you've worn them a few times, they like really just fall down a lot when I'm walking. Don't know if it's just me. I think we've had another ones as well. Um, maybe I just need to get a size smaller because I stretch them too much once I've got them so they get a bit loose. I've got no idea, but I couldn't really find any other stuff. So just put these on. I'm just going to take back the bits from my Primark haul that I'm not keeping, which is not much to be honest, but just a few bits I need to take back from that. And then get some bits from mum's birthday because it's mine and mum's birthday. Not next week, the week after. So I'm just going to get some little bits while I'm there to save me going again. Um, I'm not going to wear my camera because it's not going to fit in my little Chanel. So I'll show you if I buy anything after. Hello, I'm back home now. Didn't really buy anything in particular, but I'll just show you. I just got some little bits. I took back what I needed to take back. Um, I got a little outfit for Liam for his holiday that he liked. And some little bits for mum that I can't share because this I probably got before my birthday. I got another one of my favourite cleansers. You hear me talk about this so much. It's actually, this must be my like 20th bottle of this. I've used it for years and it's the best thing ever. And then I've just finished my last book, which is this one. Quite potentially the worst book I've ever read. I love all of her other books as well. I've read Fairy Tay November 9, Starts With Others, Ends With Us. Might have been another one. But yeah, that one, I just felt like it was very boring. And I thought, oh, there might be a nice twist at the end since it's been such a chore to read. Got to the end and, no, not a bit of me. I quite like, like, scary ones or, you know, like, they're, like, twisty and you're, like, dying to turn the page. I literally had to force myself to read that just so I could finish it. So I went to WH Smith and I was just Googling the best, like, twisty books. And this one came up never read it before i've never heard anything about it but this is meant to be really good and it's the sunday times bestseller so that must mean it's all right um and then i think it's got four parts to it and it was three for two so i got the next one which i think is that i don't know which way you read them but uh, and then this one came up as well as a good twisty book so i got this one too but i'm just going to share them with mum I think she's got me one for my birthday as well so we literally we'll just we have a mini book club i know that sounds so sad but i'll read it and then i'll give it more and then she'll pass it on to somebody else but yeah good morning i've just got ready it's harley's my niece's birthday today so i'm going home to surprise her take her presents and we're going i think to miller and carter for tea tonight because that were her choice and she's five so she's got good expectations um i just want to show you this new outfit i've just filmed some tiktoks for like some summer bits how gorgeous is this set? I've got the matching shirt as well. They sent it me from Pepper Mayo. They had some really nice summer holiday bits. I'm going to go on and order some more pieces because they weren't like ridiculously expensive either. But the quality of this is so nice. I just over like a white bikini or as a separate, um, as a matching collar at night time like tucked in. Never put a bikini on and felt as good as I did in this. There we go. I went for a large because I weren't sure. And it ties anyway, the large is fine. I think the large said it was like a 12 and I'm normally a 10. But I'd rather it be like a little bit big than too tight anyway. But these are the bottoms. It's got these little gold details. It's like a really nice chocolate brown colour. And then the top has the little bit of gold like on the boob bit as well. It fits like so nice. The quality is gorgeous. Like, I felt good in it. It fit like perfect. So... I'm really happy with those two bits. Oh, I got you. Whoa! Oh, is that for me? Yeah. Thank you. Just got to Miller and Carter. Harley, can you give us an outfit of the day, please? Can we have a little twirl? Ooh! Can you show my outfit? Just hold it. Can you see me in camera? Yes. This is my outfit. Got my Zara jeans, Zara blazer, and this dress is from Lounge. There we go. Quick little self, how you getting a mirror? <laughs> Can't see you. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Maya, she loves that. <laughs> That's it, nice. Shit. Happy birthday, Halls. Nothing. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. Actually, I got everything. Sure, what, show your favourite present. Jasmine. Quick, sure, Jasmine. Show Jasmine. I've got Jasmine. Oh. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.